Next guest is experiencing a full circle moment. Last year, comedian Shanti Morostica won the top comic competition at JFL 42, and now they are heading back to headline this year's festival. Good morning, Shanti. Good morning, Ben. Congratulations. How are things different returning as a top comic? Um, I guess a week before I won Top Comic last year, I came out as trans, and then I won Top Comic, and I guess it's a full circle moment because I've, I had my top surgery six months ago, and I started testosterone about six weeks ago. If you can notice how deep my voice is, mm. <laughs> it's deeper than before. Okay. <laughs> so just coming back to the festival, I'm just actually in my own body and doing it the way that I would have wanted to the first time around. So big, big changes personally, but you also had uh, the comedy, you won the Juno, or rather got a Juno nomination for the Shanti Show. Oh my God, you almost tricked me that I won. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the, I mean, these are big milestones in a comics career. Yeah. So do you carry that with you? Do you walk with a little bit more swagger when you walk into the festival? Yeah, when I woke up this morning and I was all seeing all five of my roommates, I was like, everybody back to bed. I got to go see Ben Mulroney. Yeah, big, big deal here. Well, no, but there are big moments that just yeah. make you walk with a bit more swagger. But I think um, you don't let it get to your head so you can still be the, uh, the, just, it's about making people laugh. That's all that's about. And then there's, you know, the, it, being a comic, a working comic, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of clubs. It's a lot of, you know, the, you have to have drive. You have to have passion in order to do it because otherwise people would stop. Where, where does your drive come from? Um, I, uh, as a queer person, as a trans dude, I felt very alone for a lot of my career. So my drive comes from um, making sure that um, trans kids see themselves in me and that uh, my queer community um, just if, feels supported and sees themselves in everything that I do. It's my, my community just drives me completely. Yeah, you know, as, as, as someone who is not part of the community but an ally, I, I it feels like, as I turn on the television, as I watch movies, it seems like there are there is more representation. It is broader than it has been in the past. Uh, is that do, would you say that's a fair assessment? Would you say things are getting better? Would you say there are more people who are willing to listen than than before? I think so, but I think that the voices that get through are just what you want us to see. I'm I'm a trans masculine person, and you don't see me. Mm. You see trans women because we can sexualize them. And um, my dream is just to be able to see every aspect of our community. It's a long acronym to SLGBTQQIAPP. So there's you see like half of that yeah. written, represented in television. If we could get more queer people of color and more trans people being seen, I guess it, it's. It's happening, but slowly. Slowly. Too slow. What you've talked about a cannibalistic thing that happens in ca uh, comedy. What what's the cannibalistic thing in comedy? I guess um, before I started uh, like a queer comedy scene in Toronto and in Canada, comics were scared to support each other because it feels like you're infringing on each other, like you're you're on each other's territory. You know, like uh, Andrew Johnson, Elvira Kurt, and I would would exist with each other, but would be like weary of supporting each other. And then it was like, let's just all if we just all bunker down and support each other, then th there's room for all of our voices. It just kind of. Uh, I don't know, cannibalistic. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that I've said that now, like, yeah. Yeah, I guess we, we were all eating each other. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Is this going well? Uh, it's going great. It's going great. <laughs> don't pay attention to the people booing over there. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, what's your pre-show ritual? You're known as a physical comic, so so how do you how do you get ready for a show? And is it the same every time? Um, no, I never really know what's going to come out of my mouth, like you just saw. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a physical comic, but I'm a pretty gross person, so I'll just like be doing like a cat, I'll like be stretching and I'll be like, my body doesn't feel right. So stretching and like listening to uh, uh, like a pump up song um, is usually the thing that I get to do to get ready, yeah. And, but yeah. I, I'm so gross. My body hurts all the time, Ben. Shanti, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations. I know that a lot of these uh, accomplishments are a really big deal as, as someone who's a, such a big fan of comedy. So congratulations to you. And here's to coming back to JFL 42 many times in the future. Thanks, Ben. Can I meet Marilyn Dennis now? She, she, she's, um, she's in the other room, actually. So yeah, just, just meander about the halls. You'll bump into her at some point. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. Wait, wait, since, since we're done. <laughs> for more Shanti shows in the full JFL 42 lineup, check out yourmorning.ca. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.